Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a review on this NBJU Bark Training Collar. So there's a lot going on with this collar. Here's everything that comes in the box. So one thing I like about it is you will have to charge it up, but it is micro USB. It does come with a cable. You'll have to plug this into a wall charger and then plug it in the micro USB. This is waterproof to some degree, but make sure you put that um, lid back on there nice and tight over the charging port. So it does come with a really nice manual. And first thing you're gonna do is fit this around your dog's uh, neck. It does have this adjustable. Now you're not gonna put a leash on this. This is just to be put on their neck like this. You do have two different sizes of these little things here. So this one's a little bit taller. And this is a test light, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit, but this also acts like a tool that you can take those on and off with. And if you wanna cover them, you can cover them. It comes with the appropriate size cover. This is for the smaller ones, so we could cover those so the shock will not activate. So this does move on the leash, and again, we can adjust it, so it's... Okay, so there's two buttons on this, and it's kind of a touch screen. So the right one has a power button. Now you're gonna have to hold that for about four or five seconds, and it's gonna vibrate and turn on. Now this is like a mode button, so we're gonna see and there's three little symbols here. There's the, so the first one is the sensitivity. And then to adjust it, we're going to, the first time you're going to do, you're just going to walk through. It's going to show you that's the vibration. That's the shock. That's what this does. The mode kind of walks you through. And this shows you what the, the current setting is. Now to change it, the screen has to be active. So make sure you're seeing something. Press this left button three times, those three lights, and then press the mode button. Now we can change the sensitivity from one to seven, go up to this. We can turn the, the vibration off. Zero is off. And one is the minimum. Go up here, we can do the shock too. We can actually turn the shock off, turn it to zero. And then if you press it again, there again, there's a the sensitivity. Now, if you just kind of like let it sit here for a minute, it'll memorize them. Now, when I press this, it's just walking through. Sensitivity, vibration, shock. Now, to turn the unit off, I have found that this is the power button. The manual says to press and hold this for a long time, but I couldn't get it to turn off. So I'll show you how I got to turn off. You got to act, activate the screen, get it into like setting mode, press this, now hold this, and it will turn off. It vibrates at you and beeps twice. And then to turn it back on. So there is this little sensor back here. We're going to blow into that. That's how we test it. So you're going to put the light on there, and then you're going to blow air into it. And so you'll see there's two wires in here that lead up to a light bulb. You're going to press those wires onto there, okay? And then again, you're just going to blow in with, right there into that little port, but I'm going to use a, a, thing, a blower. So it's going to beep, vibrate, and then it lights the light. So that's how you know that it is working. And the, the front display does, does some stuff too. Let's take a look. So it says it's shocked or vibrated and shocked. And then it kind of goes into sleep mode. So there's a lot going on with this dog collar. So make sure you read all of this. And there is this warning, never leave the dog collar on more than 12 hours. It says, and check the reposition of it every one to two hours. So at the collar's maximum uh, length, I got around 22 inches. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.